I've had an email like this forwarded to me from several clients only days before the expiry date here. So chances are you're going to be seeing this after the cutoff date, but hopefully this will help you in figuring out what to do. I'm Daniel from Twin Bytes, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you exactly what it means and what you can do. It's really, it's first of all, it is a legitimate message. You can see it's coming from Outlook at communications.microsoft.com. Although anybody can be spoofed, I've I've seen it before, and uh, so you have to look at a few different things to confirm if it's legit or not. It, the scary part saying action is needed and you may lose access to some of your third-party mail and calendar apps it doesn't mean you're gonna lose your email so first of all just to let your mind at ease you're not losing your email you haven't lost him you can go to webmail basically outlook.com and you can sign in there and get access to all of your email and calendar and uh, your contacts may be in there as well depending on how you had them synchronized so anyway that's all fine but uh, let's have a closer look at the message it tells you that you've got to update your sign-in information and really it's the programs that you're using that are out of date and it doesn't support the newest method of authentication so you need to update the program and then update your account settings your account settings won't be able to be updated if the program is out of date so you either need to update the program if it's possible to update or replace it with something that is supported so there is a free version of outlook.com or outlook that you can download from microsoft site and if you're using some other program like Thunderbird, you can update that as well to the latest version. And this is all free. If it's on your phone having a problem, then you may need to just remove it and add it back in again once that app on your phone has been updated or replace it and use a different app. So there are instructions in here through this link that will tell you more detail about what it is so let's have a look there it's telling you that modern authentication methods are now required and the way you were authenticating before was considered basic and that's just not secure so they're finally pushing the new modern authentication methods so we can go down here and see that they were telling people about this and giving you some heads up notice since June 11th. So you had plenty of time, although maybe you were skeptical thinking it might be a hacker trying to trick you, but it's not. This is legitimate and you need to do something. So the basic authentication won't work. We need to recreate the account settings to use the modern authentication or um, you might need to update the program first so it tells you what you need to do uh, if you use Outlook for Windows and it's older than 2021 you're going to need to update it to the newest one or just go to Outlook.com and use webmail if you're using Microsoft 365 it's constantly up to date and so it should be working fine if it is up to date and it's not working then you need to recreate the email uh, authentication settings so if you're not sure how to manually change it you could simply remove the email from that program and add it back in again so even if it's outlook which is a microsoft app it will only work if it's up to date so we can uh, also use webmail it says here or exchange syncing so it's like imap it would synchronize and this is just giving you some specific details about that and uh, again no. with the older versions not working so if you're wanting to update the settings manually, it tells you here with Mozilla Thunderbird exactly how to do it. And you can just follow the steps here. And it tells you that it should say OAuth2 as the authentication method instead of just a normal password. 
And if you're not able to update the settings manually, the other option here is just remove the account and add it back in again. And when you go to add it, let it automatically find the correct settings and it should go in there with the modern authentication method. Also, if you're using Apple Mail on your phone, like an iPhone or on your Apple computer, then it even tells you in here how you can go in here and update the settings. And if it doesn't work for some reason, there's instructions here that even tell you to go in and clear your history and cookies, website data, and that will help to make sure that it's trying to authenticate using the current modern authentication. So if you're up to date with the latest version of the program that you're using and you've recreated your account even in that program and using the modern authentication is still not working, it's possible that you need to use an app password. So we're going to have a look at that now. If you go to Outlook.com and sign in, you want to go into your profile and go to Manage My Microsoft Account. Once you're signed in there, you want to go to security on the left hand side. In the middle here, you'll see manage how I sign in. We'll click on that. At the very top, it should show that your two-step verification is turned on. What we want to do is scroll down and look at the information down there. Under additional security, you'll also see two-step is on and we've got app passwords here it says create a new app password you'll want to go in here to create new it gives you a password that you can highlight copy and paste into the new program that you're using and uh, you can also paste it into a text file where you can print it easily making sure that you do have it written down correctly and then hit done when you scroll down you won't see what the passwords are or the list of passwords or any of that stuff not even like what gmail has you ha only see a link that says remove existing app passwords so if you click on that you can then remove any of the app passwords so that you can create them again from scratch and you'll see that it just says create new it doesn't say remove because there are no app passwords so hopefully you understand a little better what this email means and what you can do about it. And that's it for this tech tour. I hope you did find it helpful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Even better, give it a super thanks. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.